So this is going to be a very short video about my solar panel array that is going to be mounted on the roof of my self-build camper van. Um, the array is going to uh, lower and raise on a linear actuator. I'll show you that an example of that now before I go through the rest. So the actual array is four 100 watt uh, solar panels. They are connected together. I've just built a, a very simple frame uh, using some thin aluminum angle that's bolted all along the, well actually in two sections. So each there's two panels that are connected together with these simple aluminum brackets uh, as well as the uh, aluminium angle um, and then those two sections of two panels each are connected together in the middle here with these um, are actually uh, specialist uh, solar panel brackets for connecting groups of them together came free with the solar panels um, then there is a linear actuator um, this is a cheap Chinese linear actuator, uh, although it, it will lift technically, uh, or at least it says it lifts about 240, 260 pounds. Um, it has a, uh, I think it will extend out 450 mil. Um, at the moment I have it attached to the main central bracket here, just with a M10, uh, nut and bolt which goes uh, attaches onto the swivel bracket of the linear actuator so just uh it's currently being powered by a bench power supply it's running at about 13.4 volts so mimicking the voltage sort of of a relatively fully charged uh, battery that will be in the camper van. I've just reversed the polarity on the connections so that the motor goes in reverse and the panels now lower. Um, what I will do is show you the bracketing and hinge system on the other side. So obviously as this is lowering down you'll see that this end of the linear actuator is currently um, anchor bolted into the bottom of my workshop here. Um, sort of anchor bolted, the anchor bolts are actually too long for the concrete slab and um, so there might be a bit of shuddering and adjusting as this is lowering down um, this end of linear actuator will be bolted through the roof of the van with um, two M8 or M10 bolts so as this is lowering down I will bring you around and just show you the hinges
So this side of the panels, you will see there are um, two sections of aluminium box section here. They're 40 mil, I believe each, um, and or perhaps 60 mil. Uh, these are connected together, the two box sections, with some M8 bolts, two in each section. Um, so the M8 bolts run here and over here. Uh, they are hinged onto the solar panels. There's obviously four of these uh, in total. Uh, and they're hinged onto the solar panels with uh, six M6 uh, nuts and bolts and um, you'll see in a lot of these uh, all along the solar panel really there are these little black washers they're nylon uh, washers using those as obviously this is going on the roof of a van there'll be a lot of vibration and locking them in with nylon washers will help stop the nuts and bolts rattling free and um, these hinges are just uh, they are um, uh, just standard door hinges and um, they are chrome plated obviously how well they'll stand up to the elements remains to be seen but I can replace them easily enough um, obviously the bottom part of these aluminium sections will be bolted through uh, the roof of the van as well so on each aluminium section there will be two M8 bolts that go uh, again here and here in fact the M8 bolts will run from the top of this section through that section and then uh, it'll be one bolt that goes then through the roof of the van and uh, bolts in that way so uh, on this side in total my camera oh, god damn it so on this side in total there are four aluminium sections and there will be uh, two bolts in each. So there'll be eight bolts, uh, M8 bolts, bolting this to the roof of the van. Uh, the total height of this from what will be, well, from the floor to the top of the panel is 160 mil uh, with these little bracket pieces. It's about 170 mil or so. Um, not a major issue at the top of the roof fence on the van anyway are about 150 mil so it'll be 20 mil higher than the roof vents but not a major issue uh, what i will be doing um with this panel which could be quite interesting is it will be automatic so in this box here uh, there is a system where i can there is a control box uh, which has an IR sensor in it, which will allow me to raise and lower the panels manually using a wireless remote. But most interestingly, um, there is a solar sensor, uh, which is this thing, which is essentially two very small solar panels um, mounted uh, uh, on opposite sides of this bolt, um, and they connect to the control panel, and the control panel senses the uh, voltage differential that is generated by each uh, panel and that will basically tell uh, the control panel where the sun is so if the sun was shining uh, heavily on this panel it will be creating more voltage than it would on this panel and the control panel will know the sun is uh, to the west as it says there uh, so that will then open and close a relay on the control panel uh, which will then allow current or not or well reverse the polarity of the current uh, to the linear actuator powering the solar panel so essentially uh, what that long-winded explanation means is that the solar panel array will in fact um, uh, will go up and down based on the position of the sun uh, in the sky now the reason I'm doing that is I haven't actually seen uh, many people do this on a self-built camper van roof so that's why I'm recording this it might be useful for people uh, but having your solar panels actually angled at, angled at the sun uh, depending on the time of year can increase uh, your wattage your power uh, generated 
uh, or captured by the solar panels by uh, 30 to 35 percent so if it all works it'll be worthwhile so uh, have a look out for the next video uh, where i will be mounting it on the roof and showing this automatic control system in action